what's going on? It's Ty Law, and we're back with another Conan Exiles video. This is a game I've pretty much only been playing <laughs> right now, so and a lot of questions have been coming up with the expansion and whatnot, so I'm back with another video, and today we're going to talk about the Delving Bench. If you don't know what that is, I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell you, for one, but it's, it's something new to the Isle of Sipta and the new material that you can get on the island, the Elder, Elderium, Elderum. I don't know how they want us to pronounce it. I'm not very good at saying things anyway because I'm kind of stupid. But anyway, that's what we're talking about today, so let's jump right in, okay? All right, so I'm loaded into my single-player map where I've been making the videos and whatnot, and I got my delving bench put down here. So when you place a delving bench, this isn't a thrall. So this is just a lady that works here. She's like evil, shadow magic, or whatnot. I don't know. She does all the stuff. There's blood on the table. It's a pretty cool little design. I like it. But in order to even make the delving bench, you have to visit one of the lay shrines. And there's a recipe that you get at the uh, top. So let me just run inside real quick. You run into one of these, run through the cage, run upstairs. And it's this little pedestal right here. You can actually hit it through the wall. Yep. Can you? Well, it pops up, but you can't hit it. So you interact with it, it tells you research notes, and you learn Delving Bench and Elder Constructions. So it's basically, you learn how to use the surges here, and also, you know, you learn how to use the bench. And also the Convergence Trap, which is used for the Maelstorm, and that's a whole, di whole different thing. So what it does is, obviously, you get the Delving Bench, and when you go to the Delving Bench, it'll tell you, oh, Armor Weapon plus Elder, what is this, Elderium, Elderium? Elder room. We're just gonna call it plus E. <laughs> Armor plus weapon plus E plus time. Randomness. I guess that's what the dice is for. Random blah blah blah. So it took me a while to find out that you need to put in like a heavy helmet. I saw heavy helmet. I put that in. It starts crafting. And I think it takes about 20 or so away from you. I believe it's 20. My server settings might actually be messed up, but it should be yes, it takes 20. And it breaks it. So you have a chance, as you can see here, there's some papers. So it'll break the item with a chance of giving you a recipe. And I've noticed so far with the armor, it gives you the same recipe. If you see armor schematic, durable heavy armor in parentheses. And that's, I've obviously put a bunch of heavy helmets in there. That's all I've gotten. I've tried medium, I've tried other ones, you get the same thing. You get durable, whatever it was. So if you go to your armorer's bench, now this is on an improved armorer's bench, where are we? Did I pass it? Okay, so. Oh, he's tier. F I put a tier 4 guy in here. Let me just scroll down. Alright, so. Heavy helmet. You know, it's 160 armor value. You know, you got your perfected, your hardened steel, your steel reinforcement, and a horn. Above it is the durable. You, you learn the whole set, by the way. And it's the perfected, hardened leather, and then Eldorium. So, it seems like a little. Not as many maps, you don't need the hardened steel or the steel reinforcement or the horn. It's just two different maps. But the armor value is different. 128, 160 on the normal. So you lose, it says durable, but you lose armor value. So I got the two pieces in here. I had to move my camera so you can see my interface here. So the heavy helmet, the normal one, you got, you got your high grade, armor, heavy, bonus encumbrance, uh, 160 armor value. You know, the standard stuff, and it's heavy, durability 960, weight 17. So next to it is the durable heavy helmet. You don't get the bonus encumbrance. It's heavier. It's double the weight, but the durability is almost is 1,440. So it says a piece of Eldorium infused armor, and that's just like a riveted leather cap with a face mask. So like for armor wise, when I saw this, I'm like that kind of sucks. You lose the bonus stat. It's super heavy. And you lose armor value, but it's just super durable. I don't know maybe the purpose of it yet. If there's really like a place where like, oh, you want durable armor for something, maybe in the maelstrom. I haven't really figured out what that could use for. But as far as I'm concerned, the armor kind of sucks. But you can also do weapons. Let me just clear, let me just take all. I'll clear that out. So with the weapons, what I've noticed is you can do it has to be a certain grade and I've noticed hardened steel is about the lowest it'll work with I tried just steel and it won't work with it so let me put some more E in there get my hardened steel great swords throw those in there let them start crafting but with the weapons 
you have a chance to get a legendary weapon recipe. So then you can start crafting your own legend. Wow, I got one right at the back. It's a chance. I promise it's not an admin thing. It's a chance to get one. I, I went through like 15 star metal ones earlier to test it before I got one. See, that one didn't give me any. So weapon schematic, frenzied edge. Use it. So once you get your schematic, you'll go to your blacksmith bench. And I threw a, number, uh, a named blacksmith in here just to make things craft faster because these do take a while to craft. I have actually crafted them. They do take a while. So you have a regular version. So 37 damage and ancient weapons, all it says. And then you have your epic version, 66 damage, pretty good. Long handle and 21E. That only takes five. See, even with a tier four blacksmith, that's barely moving. Like that is slow to make these items. So let's go back over to the bench. Did I get another one? I did not. You can also obviously repair these. It just drains the durability of them. Let's put in star metal. So we did star metal great swords, and on our second one, we got weapon schematic mercenary. Learn mercenary. Come over here. Check it out. Where's it at? Mercenary right there. 37 on the beginning one. They're both five Eldarium and an insulated wood. 21, 21. So they're both the same. 66 damage. But I'm sure each of them have their own effects or whatnot. If they cripple, if they bleed, if they have, you know, bonus strength, bonus whatever. But we're just going to keep on pumping in these swords here. So you get a journey step when once done. Craft an Eldarium weapon. Frenzy's Edge. Let's take a look at it. Let me get in the light. Let me make it sunshine and rainbows. Noon. Ooh. It's like a big old claymore. I like that. It kind of looks like the style of building. Like this style of Stormforge, right? Kind of looks like that style. Nothing special. It's like a normal, just a normal great sword, right? What we got? Bonus agility, legendary weapon, cripple, 23% armor pen. Bonus agility on this one. So you never know what you're going to get. It's a box of chocolates with the dubbing bench. So it takes 20 E in a weapon or armor. Well, I just got flesh terror, barbaric great sword, and you just learned there's so many of them. You can get the same one multiple times. So you might get two flesh terrors, but you can trade them. So then you can give them to somebody and they can learn it. Pretty much all there is to the Delving Bench is you sacrifice your weapons and your armor with some materials for a chance to learn the legendary version, or not version, but you can learn the legendary recipe from, you know, breaking down the other weapons. But in order to do that, you do need 20 Eldarium bars. In order to get that, you need a decaying Eldarium, and it's two decaying Eldarium from one bar. You just put it in a furnace, you smelt it like you would, you know, iron and whatnot. In order to get those, you can get them from... Uh, monsters in the maelstrom sometimes or like all the vaults and bosses and stuff like that can drop them as well and I was noticing in the vaults when I got to the end after you beat the boss and whatnot there's a couple chests back there the main chest usually had like 30 or 40 in it I don't think my server has anything changed like that they just have like harvesting boosted so I don't think it affects the chest so I think that's the accurate number that you're gonna probably get like probably around 50 is a good guess per the vault but the bad thing is you can't spam the vaults. There, there is like a lockout timer depending on the server. It'll say like vault has like is locked or something like that. And you have to wait so long before you can do another one. But there is 14 of them. So you, do, you can just rotate through. I think that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was the Delving Bench slash How to Get Eldarium video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me. I've been posting a lot of videos lately because a lot of Conan Exile stuff is popping up. And I've just been wanting to make videos for you guys so I get the knowledge out there for y'all. So I really hope you do appreciate it. I appreciate all the love that you guys have been giving the videos, even if it's just watching it and hitting the thumbs up, not even leaving a comment or barely even watching the video. Just the fact that it's getting that view means a lot to me. All right, you know, I'm not a big YouTuber, so I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you so much for that. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a great day. And until next time, peace.